we uh, we're here to interview Miss Braun yeah. about about yes. little short horrors and other, other things. things. Okay. Uh, so my first question is, what was your expectations when you started planning little short horrors? I always have really high expectations um, of our students and of myself and of the staff to put on the best possible show. Um, I was lucky that I went to see a recent production of Little Shop of Horrors in New York when I, was, uh, when I went to visit New York last June uh, and that gave me a lot of ideas um, about how to, I can professionally bring it to the stage. However, it was a very different production because it used puppets and a very small cast. Uh, and here at BIS Hanoi, we had a very large cast and uh, we didn't have access to make those puppets as well or to hire those puppets. So me and the other performing arts staff uh, had to think creatively about how we could show that story in a different way. My next question for you is, what was your least favorite part while you were making the show of Oh, my least favorite part, that's hard, because I really enjoyed it. It's my highlight of the year. So the secondary production is like the thing I look forward to every year because I love musical theater. I love working with uh, all of the other members of the team collaboratively, and I love sharing that passion with the school. So my least favorite part is a hard one to ask and answer, actually. Uh, I suppose sometimes the, the stress that you feel the sort of stress that it's not going to get done or that things aren't going to, to be as you imagine them in your head. So that kind of the logistics and the stress of knowing that it's all going to come together in the end. The next question is, what was your favorite part of Little Shop of Horrors? Um, well, I think as in the production, like the final, like how it finally came together, um, Oh, there's so many things I loved about it. I loved how creative and different that we had been with how we presented the plant on the stage. Uh, I've already mentioned that we, that traditionally that's done with puppets, but we had a large cast and no puppets. So I loved that we, uh, uh, that we were using the, the bodies of the ensemble to represent the, the, the moving plant and how it grew in the space. And I was really proud of how that turned out. Um, so I loved that and, and being a director and choreographer, looking at movement and having that a really important part of the piece is really exciting for me. Um, I loved the, the design elements of how hard that the design team, uh, so Miss Bird, Miss Hawkin uh, and Miss Goodwin, how they sort of collaborated with us to make that fabulous sort of brightly coloured um, plant and set. Uh, and. My favorite thing is just to work with all of the students in a different way and to see all of the new friendships forming with individuals that wouldn't normally get to work together, sort of in different year groups or different nationalities. And I love that, that energy bringing it together. How did you feel when you watched it on the first night? I was absolutely buzzing. Like, I'm so proud and, and, and I, I feel very privileged that when I get to sit down and watch that work happen. I'm, I like, I feel very emotional. It makes me cry because I'm just so happy and I love watching all the individual students on the stage. The main parts who absolutely nailed it. I think we had really strong uh, principal cast, but then I, I love looking into the ensemble and seeing those students that have really listened to the feedback and they're 100% in it. It's a real family feel, I think, when we do a musical and I'm really proud of that. What was your favorite event in this academic year so far? Ooh, I mean, Little Shop of Horrors was obviously absolutely up there. I can't keep talking about that, I, I suppose, though. Um, what other events have I enjoyed this academic year? I suppose uh, another highlight is always International Festival. I love International Festival because it's very inclusive. We get students from every single year group regardless of their ability, performing on that stage. I think we, in the end, have hundreds of students that perform on the stage and come and share that with our community. And I think it's a real celebration of what we believe performing arts is here. Yes, we, we want to celebrate the, the very talented and the individual performers, but International Festival is about big groups of everybody participating and showcasing their learning in performing arts. 
How would you describe this year so far in three words? Oh, hectic. Lots of things have happened. Um, hectic. Exciting. And hectic, exciting. And I think innovative. What makes your day? Uh, what makes your day a good day at the AS? So the things that make me have a good day is when I feel like I've had a real connection and real positive experience with my classes. So if a class has uh, come in and responded really well to their dance, their dance education, that they've been very creative and they've done things that I wouldn't expect them to normally do, or they've made me laugh and we've laughed together. So that really makes my day when I can go home and I can feel like uh, that the students are appreciating their dance education and that I'm really appreciating having the opportunity to work with those students. What was your least favorite part of going to school? <laughs> My least favorite part is when, I, when I'm forced to moan at students for their lack of organization. For example, not bringing their PE kit for their dance lessons. That's my least favorite part. I don't like it, but it is important that we hold each other accountable uh, for being prepared for their lessons. So if students, that's, that's my least favorite thing. Why did you choose to teach here? Why did I choose to teach here? I'd actually been, um, I'd grown a bit tired of, of teaching in the UK. I'd, I'd been teaching in the same school for a very long time. Um, and, uh, the opportunities for dance teachers were, were, were not happening at, at that time as much as I'd like to be. So I actually wanted a break from teaching. So I went traveling. So I took a little break. I went traveling with my husband and I, and I sort of had a lovely sort of time to kind of reflect on what was important to me. And during that time, I realized that I really did love teaching dance and I wanted a change of environment and I wanted to work at a school that valued performing arts and that valued all students taking part in performing arts, not just the gifted and talented students as well, that we're giving opportunities for everybody. And we are educating students and parents about the importance of performing arts in their curriculum uh, alongside all of their other subjects. Um, also, when I was traveling, I loved Vietnam. So Vietnam was a country that I, I came traveling to and I visited and I ended up, before I moved here, start, uh, enjoying two months in this country. And I love everything about Hanoi and the food and the opportunities and the people and the culture here. So the first thing was, like I said, the school's ethos and value of performing arts, their collaboration with the Juilliard School and those opportunities that would give me as, as a dance teacher. And the second is my love for the country, the people and the opportunities in the city. Thank you.